My name is Justin Irabor and I'm an AI slash NLP engineer here at Cynthia. I come from Lagos, Nigeria, and I have been working in software engineering for a couple years now. So even while I was studying for my bachelor's, I was studying agricultural economics in Nigeria. I always had interest in computers. I just never really had the opportunity to explore that interest. So as soon as I got into the workforce, I started working in marketing and marketing was adjacent to software engineering. And it was just really only a matter of time before I made the, the crossover. So in the very beginning, learning to code, I had friends who used to give me like weekend lessons. I did some online learning, some free learning um, courses and all, and then I did a boot camp for about 11 months, and then I got into the workforce and started working professionally. So as soon as I became really interested in computer science, I began to put feelers out, ask questions, do research, and IU kept recurring. I looked up the IU, it's one of the best you know, universities in Europe uh, for tech and AI. So I tried out IU and so far it's been great. It provides me a bunch of tools. Some of them include like just the apps and uh, we have like a learn platform. It makes education really accessible to me. On the go, on the phone, at home, doesn't matter the time of day, I have access to, to tools. And so it doesn't force me to adapt to its lifestyle. IU adapts to my own education requirements, which is pretty great. Also, I'm on the IU scholarship, uh, which makes it really affordable for me to be a student here. Yeah, it's not elitist, which means just about anyone can get in. As long as you show that you are qualified to be here and that you are eager to study, you are you are in. And that's that's what I really like about IU. So working in the IU synthetic teaching department has exposed me to a broader understanding and a broader scope of uh, artificial intelligence applications, especially as it pertains to education. I have been working with some of the best engineers, some of the best researchers, and some of the best data scientists in the field. And so it's a delight to work with people who are pushing the boundaries of what is possible with artificial intelligence. So Cynthia has a very strong philosophy to, to integrate with any platform and to be available anywhere. And we are getting really close to that realization, which makes it easy for any student to access education on the go, whatever the case. So a fully integrated Cynthia experience means that you don't have to think too much about how you're accessing information. You get knowledge in the most intuitive way possible. And the more that you interact with Cynthia, the more Cynthia learns about your learning style and adapts on the fly. And that is the future that the IU team sees for Cynthia and artificial intelligence. When it comes to education, for the most part, we have uh, an uneven distribution of knowledge where some of the best experts on anything are located in very, very specific locations and the people who need that information are distributed and far away. And AI is bridging that gap by making education accessible to anyone and in the way that they can understand it. So if you're working in a field that is not in computer science or artificial intelligence and you're interested in making the transition, I think that um, this is the best time that you could ever try to do it. Learning has never been easier to access and if you're interested, it's, it's very available. It's really accessible to the basic person today.